Hey everyone, Reaper here again with another discussion video. Um, I've talked about this topic before about regrets. Do you have any regrets when it comes to your collecting? And I have two things that I'm going to talk about. I've talked, like I said, on this channel before, comic book regrets, I think it was called. There are some regrets I talked about, but I just want to talk a little bit more about it uh, in, the, in this video and get your opinion in the comments. I'll start off with a couple of examples. The two regrets that come to mind involve me not getting a book when I probably should have. All right. And uh, the first one, the first one is Detective Comics number 58, the first appearance of the Penguin. There were two chances I could have gotten this book and I passed. And we'll talk about why. This was back in 2016, but for those of you that were watching my films back in 2015, 2016, I was starting to really get into Batman books. And in 2016, we had the Ultra Batman Halls. Originally, there was supposed to be an Ultra Batman Hall 3, but that just never happened. But anyway, I had two of them. And in those videos, I showed all Batman books that I was able to acquire, luckily, lucky to, to require which include the first Two-Face, um, the first Riddler, the first Mad Hatter, uh, the first Deadshot, uh, and, and, and others. You know, and some, I think some Silver Age, first, Mad, first Silver Age Mad Hatter, and, and things of that nature. And I was really on the roll. Okay? But before that, before in 2015, it was actually 2015, I think I said 2016 before, it was actually 2015 I had an opportunity, two opportunities to get Detective 58, but I passed on them. Because I wanted the Detective 140, which is the first appearance of the Riddler. And at that time, I couldn't afford both. I couldn't afford both. And I said, you know, maybe I should hold off for the Riddler, because that's the one I really, really want. But anyway, the, the Penguin came up first. Okay? He came up first, I believe, at the New York Comic Con in 2015. That was my second New York Comic Con. And Harley Yee, who of those that are in the you know been collecting for a while, he's, you know, he's a big time golden age. Uh, he has a lot of great books, but you know if you're looking for something that's really difficult to find, sometimes Harley Yee has it. So anyway, Harley Yee had a 1.8 blue label Detective Comics 58. He wanted 1800 for it. And at the time, I was like, again, well, you know, would he take a trade? And I asked him if he wanted Walking Dead number one. He's like, eh, I just got rid of my Walking Dead collection, which is really clicked in my head that, you know, I better get rid of these Walking Deads while I, while I have the chance. And I did, and it was a good thing. But he didn't want the Walking Dead number one. But then I was like, well, you know, I, I suppose I could get this Penguin. But I don't know. I'm I really hoping for the Riddler. So I passed on it. Not long after, um, Gary Goldoff, another seller, old-time seller, had a 3.0 Detective Comics 58, and he put it up for auction, and the auction started at three grand. It eventually ended at 3,500. Again, not a bad price to both of them, the Harley Yee and uh, Gary Goldoff. At the time, you know, at the, you know, times were, you know, at the time it was, I guess, on point. Or maybe just a little bit more than what someone wanted to pay for those. Now, when you compare it today, well, what's a 1.8 Detective 58 go for? Probably eight grand. What does a 3.0 go for? Probably about what, 12, something like that. So a big difference in price. But for that reason, I regret it. You know, I wish I could have gotten them, or at least one of them. I would have been happy with the 1.8. No big deal. But back then, I was like, well, you know, I couldn't, I really couldn't afford to get both the Riddler and the Penguin. And for me, the Riddler, for those of you that know, it's in my channel, for God's sake, the image of, you know, the, the title screen. Riddler was more important. And I'm glad I got the Riddler. But it's like back then, I was like, mm, maybe I should have just been a little less cheap and got the 1.8 and the Detective. Because I didn't wind up getting the Detective until another few months. This was October 2015, a month after my son was born. So at that, at that time, that was also weighing in on me. Well, I could get one, but, you know, my son's born. I really can't get both because I got to make sure I'm there for him. Uh, not only, uh, you know, 
physically. I got to be there for him financially as well. So that was another thing that went into it. But I made the, I, you know, I should have done a little bit more when it came to selling some stuff. And I just didn't. But that was one of my biggest regrets. I, I, that's probably that's probably my biggest regret, to be quite honest with you. Not getting the Detective 58. Um, my second regret was th three years later in 2018. You know, every year I seem to be going through phases. I went through the Batman phase. I went through yeah, the Spider-Man phase. I went through the X-Men phase. I went through the this phase, that phase, and all that stuff. Well, in 2018, I went through the EC phase. Before that, I was collecting ECs, because you know I love ECs, and I was collecting them in small doses. But then in 2018, I said, you know, from 2018 to 2019, I'm really going to make a, a strong play for ECs. And I, and I did. I wanted to try to get some of the ECs that I really wanted, especially the first appearance of Crypt Keeper, which I did. Okay? So anyway, I went crazy looking for the first appearance of Crypt Keeper. Even today, that book is just very hard to find. But I was lucky enough to have found it and paid not too much for it, considering now what it's going for. So that's definitely something I could, you know, pat myself on the shoulder or on the back about. You know, because I love that book and I love that character. So anyway, the seller of that book, he also had the first appearance of the Vault Keeper. And I was like, oh, God, I can't turn that one down. I mean, that, that's another one that's hard to get. So I wound up buying that one, too, uh, within a week later. But then he says to me, I also have Haunt of Fear 15. Now, it's not the first appearance of the Old Witch. I think it's a prototype of the Old Witch, I think, on the cover. Haunt of Fear 15, which is really Haunt of Fear number one. You know, the one which he it kind of looks like a guy, too. But pointing and come into the vo come into the you know you see the cauldron in the background all these uh, different things although that is not considered the first appearance of the old witch 16 number two is considered the first appearance of the old witch but it's considered a prototype anyway regardless it's still a very difficult book to get you know it's haunt of fear number one whether it's the uh, the prototype of the old witch or not it's still a very hard book to get this one however unlike the Crime Patrol 15 and the War Against Crime 10. Uh, my Crime Patrol 15 wound up being a 4.5 and my uh, War Against Crime 10 was a 3.5. I never had my War Against Crime, uh, Crime 10 press, so it might be a 4, but regardless, whatever, doesn't matter. I got those. The Haunt of Fear, he told me this is a really nice copy and he sent pictures of it. It was a very, very nice copy. It really was. It was looking to be about a 7.0. And I think he wanted about maybe 14 or 1500, which I should have purchased. Should have purchased. Because what's a 7.0 Haunt of Fear 15 now? Now I know a lot of people out there don't don't know anything about EC, don't collect EC. I'm like, well, I don't know how much is it a lot? Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I eventually got my Haunt of Fear 15. About a little less than a year later, remember I was saying I was going crazy from 2018, 2019 getting ECs? I found a 2.5 copy, which I'm happy with, but consider, and which I paid very little for. But it would have been nice if I actually liked the Detective 58, would have just maybe sucked it up and uh, manned up, as Nick would sometimes say, manned up and got and gotten that book. Because so I really would have been fine if I spent the money anyway. I would have been financially fine, considering the way things went, both with the Detective 58 and the Haunted Fear 15. So those are two of my two of my regrets, my big regrets. But I'll give you a bonus one. One more. It's a regret, but it's not something that I think about often, as I do with the Detective 58 or the uh, Haunted Fear 15. I was never able to get the Detective 58. But I did get the Haunt of Fear 15, so it doesn't sting as much. But I'll give you one more. I know I said originally I was going to talk about two, but let me give you one more as a bonus. The Albedo 2. And I told this story. I purchased an Albedo 2 um, back in 2016 for peanuts. I mean, it was expensive. Don't get me wrong. But peanuts compared to what it goes for now. My copy eventually wound up getting a 9.0. The seller had two copies Two copies of Albedo 2. Now, you know that's a rare book. For those that are interested in rare books, Albedo 2 is a rare book. Only 2,000 copies in the world. And he had two of them. 
Well, I bought one, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to get the second one. The second one was, uh, mine was a 9.0. Uh, the other one, I think, was maybe a 7, 7.0, maybe 7.5. So it's a little less, and obviously would have been a little less money, which would have been great. I, I should have bought it, but I didn't. I didn't. A few years later, Albedo blows up. It's, you know, people start realizing it's very much like the Daredevil number one and the Strange Tales 110 and the Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos number one. All those, all those books, first Daredevil, first Doctor Strange, first Nick Fury, respectively. You know, they were always maybe thousand dollar books uh, in around the 4.0 range, right? About a thousand dollars. But it's much less than their counterparts, like Amazing Spider-Man 1 and Incredible Hulk 1 and Avengers 1 and X-Men 1. A couple thousand less. Well, like the Albedo 2, those books recently have been very under... They were very underappreciated for a long time. And recently, the price is caught up. How much is a 4.0 Daredevil number 1 right now? How much is a 4.0 Strange Tales number, uh, number 110? How much is a 4.0... Uh, Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, which is really another regret. I could have bought a 4.0 for 500 bucks years ago. I should have. I guess I'm finding out more and more regrets as I'm going along. Um, but how much are they now? It's the same thing with the Albedo. A 7.5. If I would have bought that extra copy and had it graded along with my 9.0, I would have sold that copy off and bought one of the bigger ones, one of the bigger books and marvels that I need, like... Uh, Journey into Mystery, uh, 83, probably a 2.0 copy though, or something like that, or Tales of Suspense, maybe 3.0, Tales of Suspense 39, like a 3.0, or at least put it toward it. That's what I would have done. So um, that's another one of my regrets. I should have bought both, but I don't know. I'm always thinking like, well, you know, it's kind of irresponsible for me to spend this much money right now when I have other uh, uh duties to perform in my real life. I mean, I spend money, of course, on these comics, and sometimes I spend a little too much. But when it comes to something like that, where it's so much, I don't, I usually don't go for it. And you know, that's, again, sometimes uh, I should man up a little bit and do it because everything usually turns out all right. But I do have that little bit of caution in the back of my head. But as I look back on it with 2020, um, Hindsight's 2020. It's like, yeah, it's a bit of a regret. I should have gotten it, slabbed it, and sold it maybe six months ago. <laughs> but um, yeah. So, what were some of your regrets when it comes to missed uh, buying opportunities? I mean, I know we all have other types of regrets in this hobby, but I wanted to stick with um, things that you passed on, that sort of regret. So, leave it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video and take care and be safe. So long.